good morning from the ranch it is wednesday september 1st uh <clears throat> pretty early well days are getting shorter so it's not early actually but the sun you know is just now starting to to uh poke up over here well it's not poking up yet but it's it's making its way uh, here so we got early you know this morning and you get the IBC tote filled up. I gotta fix the water hose over here though, so I go just fill it here instead of go back and forth over there. Which also means I gotta disconnect the MoCo. And I'll probably just back it up over there somewhere, disconnect it, and then I'll park the truck in front of it later while I'm gone. Well, or the tractor, I'll put the tractor in front of it later. Cause I gotta hook the tractor back up to it anyway. And uh, so we gotta get that done. And then later, I gotta go to work. And then when I get done work, I gotta clean screens out real quick. Hook the moco back up. We gotta finish mowing hay here and next door at Cody Fishing and at my sister-in-law's place. We gotta get those done today. Um, so anyway, that's what the plan is. I need to go down here and check the bull, give him food first. And like I said, I'll come back up here. Well, actually, I'm going to get the water hose fixed first. So I got to start filling up this IBC tote. I got a uh, new uh, connector over here in the truck for it. And, uh, you know, hose end. Because the other one, our, uh, our water here is very hard. Hard water. And it just, you know, it just rots and rusts everything out. So that's what happened. So uh, put this on there. We need to find a flathead screwdriver. I just saw one in the house. I should have grabbed it. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a mess. Okay. I do this every time I come in here. I got to throw stuff around. So my trucks, I got to get a toolbox in the back of this truck. Um... I should have one in here, I hope. There's everything else in here. Ah, there's one. Not do electrical work this morning, but safety first. Um, okay, so we'll get started on this. I'm gonna go fix this water hose. And I said then we'll back the moco up over there and disconnect it over there. And uh, get the water tote. We'll start filling the water tote first. Still gonna, you know, feed the bull. Check down there in the barn, make sure everything's okay. And uh, he's starting to look, look. He's starting to put weight back on, so that's good. That's what we need. I don't know if I need some pliers over here also, but we'll see. Okay, so got that fixed. Put a new end on it. Filling that up. It's gonna take a little bit, so we're gonna head to the barn now. And. Uh, check the bull real quick then we'll come back and uh, move the moco and disconnect it over there somewhere and uh, so <coughs> yeah, it's pretty morning out it's pretty humid it's gonna be hot today it's gonna be that way for the next week or so I think next week next Wednesday we're talking about a uh, cool front coming in so we start getting cold front so it'll start cooling us off now which is what we need we need to start cooling off because it's, it's it's warm it's warm but that usually happens in september here we just get those heat that heat coming in you know but we know that fall and winter is coming so there's always a light at the end of the tunnel but uh let's get down here i don't think i left this water on yesterday i hope not if I did, it's been on for a while. But I'm uh, pretty sure I turned it off. Yeah. Yeah, he's down here. Water's not overrunning, so that's a good thing. So I did one thing good uh, yesterday. Okay, so went and fed him. He's a little bit camera shy. I gotta be, you know, around bulls, you gotta be careful. So I wanna be carrying a camera and then trying to feed him also. And I was just counting. I think how many cows I got left to calve here. Uh, 
I believe it's what one, two, three, four, five cows out here and one heifer. They're going to calf here in September, October, I think. Somewhere around in there. Uh, they should start calving here real soon this month in September here. And uh, so we'll have some calves, hopefully shorthorn calves on the ground instead of crossbreds. Well, one of those, one of those I counted as actually a key, but her calves are really good. They're good shorthorn pluses. They're not this other junk that we got from this other bull out here. And, uh, but anyway, so, yeah, so we're going to back the moco up over here, disconnect it, and then go get the uh, pallet fork and uh, get a little bit, get some busyness going on. I'll leave this screwdriver right here so I don't forget where it's at, so I know to put it back up later. Hopefully. Dude, it is pretty toasty already. There comes the sun, there comes the sun. Just keep it over the trees. Then get a little bit warm. I don't know what's squeaking in the seat. I sprayed oil underneath there like crazy. I guess I'm gonna take it apart and figure that out. So, right when I thought they had their seats figured out at Mahindra, I have a problem again already. And I got, the left side is giving out already on the seat, so that's not good either. That's what happened last time. The left side gave out, then later the whole thing gave out. So that's less than a year. And I put this seat in, what, January, I think, somewhere around there. I remember, but that was back in January, February, I think. January, probably. Not good. Anyway, back this puppy up. I'm trying to figure out how I was going to do this this morning. I think I was going to back it back onto the concrete. I said, wait, I got an area over here I can put it. Okay, I got that done. I need to. I can't want to forget, I need to probably leave the camera on and let y'all see what I'm doing. So, otherwise, there's not going to be no action. Just me talking. Anyway, so let's go get the pallet fork. Oh, I need to go turn up the water on the tote. That's full cool enough. I don't want to put weight on the rear right now. I don't get the wheel weights on. If I go any higher than that, I'm going to have a problem. So, over here and get this off and then we'll go get the uh the uh port get the water off so time that's full enough and, uh without having weight on the rear end of course you know once i get those wheel weights on i'll be able to fill that thing up and i don't have to worry about putting weight on the rear Let's see if we can get this on there without destroying anything. That side looks decent. That looks better. Not too much. Ooh, that's heavy. Yeah, I knew I had it pretty full. Not all the way, but it's full enough for not having weight on it.
Good afternoon. Welcome to the ranch. It is H O T hot. Oh my gosh. In the shade, it's not that bad. Got a little breeze. But I gotta walk in the sun to get to the tractor, and it's hot. Oh my gosh. I still gotta clean the screens on it. And then uh, I gotta drop the pallet fork off, clean the screens, then hook back up to the moco. <laughs> It's hot. Oh, whoa, that's so bright. I think I left my sunglasses in the tractor. Oh my gosh. Woo. Woo. It's hot. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. But hey, it's September 1st. So things are about to get cooler. Oh, thank goodness. That's up high enough to undo that right now. I don't have to get in and out of that tractor too many times. Ooh, that's close coming off there. You gotta be careful with that. There's somebody over there working, doing something. Anyway, I lost one of my flags last night. I bet I lost it around one of these one of these trees somewhere. On the moco. Eh, if I see it up there, I'll pick it. Oh, there it is. It just broke. Yeah, it hit a tree or something. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll put that in a tractor. We'll fix it later. We can always get more of these. I can get more wood dowels. And, but, you know, at least I got one. That one's always on the uh, tractor side, so it doesn't hit the trees. This one's always on the outside, going through the trees and stuff. So that's probably what happened, hit something. Anyway, I need to look at here. Right before we get started too much, make sure there's nothing underneath here I need to worry about. No, looks pretty clean. Hmm. I'm gonna definitely have to turn up the conditioning today because I want to try to dry this as fast as possible. Wrong way. I'm done. They say the lever's moving me. That's telling me I got more conditioning. And, uh, Okay, so then we look back underneath here, and we look, yep, tines are real close to the roof now. When they spin around, they might actually hit a little bit. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, and we got this, uh, we got the wind road drop deal right here on, so that way we'll just push it straight down and not hit the uh, back deals. Uh, you know, I can take that off and use this. And it'll actually squish my wind roll in if I wanted to, but I need to let this stuff dry. I need it out in the sun. If I can keep it out there. Uh, I want to get it to cut. I want to catch it up with this other grass I already cut. And so if I can do that, then uh, I might be able to bail tomorrow night. As long as I get it all done today. But anyway, oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. Anyway, let me uh, get stuff situated. Then we'll get the um, screens clean, or drop the uh, paddle fork off, get the screens cleaned, and then we'll hook up to the Moco and we'll get started. But we'll come back here in a few minutes. So, I had to change the battery real quick. Got the AC on. It's, it's warm in here, but it's starting to feel a little bit better. Everything's hot. Steering wheel is burning my hand. It's so hot. It's sitting in the sun out there. Probably get this shop done. So I got a place to park everything out of the sun. But anyway, hey, we got some good news today. Very good news, actually. I'm just, I can't believe I didn't mention this. That this was going to happen, or that it did happen. But grandbaby number five is here. So, I think it's right after noon or so. So, we had our baby quiet. So, we got a boy now, grand, grandson now. So, uh, that's good. Everything's fine. Baby's fine. Mama's fine. So, Things are really okay. So now I got I got another baby, another grandbaby to spoil. Looking forward to that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that makes five now. Let's see how many we're gonna have eventually. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, checking out the cows here. Everybody's up. It looks like yeah, getting there. It's hot. I feel sorry for them. Couple of them are down on the lake right now. 
And I'm gonna pull over here and do these screens. I regret it, man, it's so hot. So we're gonna pull over here, we're close to the air compressor. So we just blow it out with that. And, uh, oh yeah, I got my blower over there. I don't think I'll need it. Well, I'm probably gonna put it in. I might need it. I'm gonna go one of the other fields. Now I'll be too far away to blow them out over here. So we'll grab that too while we're over here. Try to park where I can get some shade. Well, at least on one side. Woo! Doggy. It's hot out there, but hey, get this going. We gotta get this done today. Anyway. So. Throw this stuff over here. <laughs> there you go. Turn off the AC for a minute. Yeah, he's doing that. It feels so good in here right now. But it's about to get really hot here now too. Yeah, there's all my sunglasses and my other ones. I got sunglasses everywhere. These are all my work ones. They're not expensive sunglasses. I only spend like nine dollars a piece on these. I buy them at Walmart. They're those or online, either one. They're those uh ones you see on the uh, infomercials at night. The uh HD combat optical whatever glasses. You know what? They work pretty darn good actually. Uh, I like how they uh, take all the glare out. That's what I use it for. I don't want dark sunglasses. I, I don't like that. I want you know I want things to still look right. So I use these because I'm going to scratch them up. That's just the way I am. I got a good pair. Uh, well, a new pair that I use everywhere else. And uh, so I bought a I bought that one a couple weeks ago, just so I can have it on trips and stuff when I'm going nice places. Now I got like three or four of these uh, used ones that I've scratched up here and there. Once I get a scratch thing on them, I go buy me another one to use when I'm going nice places and turn the scratch ones into uh, work glasses. So, but I do like them. They, I mean, they keep that glare down really, really good. So, anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna blow screens out. Or I'm getting a nice reverb back over here from the tractor itself. So. We're gonna blow the screens out real quick and uh, go from there. I think I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn the camera off for now. There's no reason to waste battery right now on this. Okay, got the screens blowed out. Now we need to go and uh, back up to the oh, oh. Back up to the moco. Yeah. Let's get that. Get hooked up. Get busy. See, we got some fields to get done today, so let's get them going. I redid the lines. I didn't like the way they were sitting. They probably were going to get caught on something. They were going to get caught on something if I would have left them like they were. That's not what I want. So, uh, 
need no problemos. So, let's get busy. So, uh, fluid's going again. I swiped somebody's propel water so in the house. Not too shabby. Anyway. Woo! Like they say, ice mecha, muy caliente. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe how hot it is today. But this week's going to be like that. I think today is a really, really, really hot day. Ready for fall, that's all I know. Let's get going. Swing this puppy up. Guess we're going to have to make this turn. Otherwise, we will scrape everything on the tires today. Don't want to do that. And, uh, we can get going. Okay, so uh, we just got done. We finished over here earlier, then we went and did a sister-in-law's place. So we're done. We just did the front over there only. The sides weren't ready yet. Because we just did those like a couple weeks ago. So we're done with that. We still got to do the Coyote Fisherman's Place. We're going to do that tomorrow. And we might start raking and belling this tomorrow. We'll see. We'll, we'll look at it uh, tomorrow afternoon and see what it looks like. But I think all we got left to do really is to mow uh, next door and then um, wait for those to be ready to bail I, said, I think I can bail this tomorrow maybe we'll, we'll find out tomorrow night if not we'll do it Friday afternoon that's just going to push me a day behind which might be a good thing so it might take me a little while to go mow that other place so maybe I can do that Saturday morning and then bail that on Monday so 
um, <clears throat> that would give me some time. You know, Megan's gonna be in town this weekend, and uh, so it would give me some time. You know, we'll go eat dinner Saturday night or something, and so that might work out better that way actually. So anyway, and then she's leaving Sunday. I'm actually gonna go back to school because they got classes on Monday, even though it's Labor Day. Uh, so that's where we are. So I'm gonna go inside and uh, see what else is going on that we need to get done tonight. Um, I imagine or something. So let me go figure that out and we will uh, see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later.